Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video up in Newcastle upon Tyne in the north of England, which is my hometown and where I'm originally from, come up here for Christmas and going to spend um, some time checking out some of the cool new independent places that have popped up from a food sector since I moved away. So over the last few years, Newcastle has massively grown in terms of kind of its food scene. There's lots of good bakeries, pizza places, burgers, bagel shops, um, you name it, there's now probably somewhere where you can go and grab it. So super excited to check out what's on offer. It's a bit of a miserable day today, but that's not going to stop us. Um, where all of the bridges and the River Tyne are. It's Sunday today, so there's meant to be a quayside market on, which I've been to a few times, but obviously not for quite some time. So that'll be nice to have a look around. But the main reason that I'm down here is to go to I Scream for Pizza. So Scream for Pizza opened up in Sandyford. I think it was a couple of years ago now, and I got the first chance to try their pizzas during lockdown last year and loved them. And this year they opened up Ice Cream for Pizza on the key side, which does big pizza slices and they also specialise in soft serve, hence the name Ice Cream. I tried one of their soft serve earlier this year and it was absolutely incredible. I'm going to go back today and give it another one a go. It's pretty cold and it's freezing, as you can see I'm in a hat. It's probably not optimum weather for ice cream, but I say it's always a good time for ice cream. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to be delicious. down to ice cream for pizza. Last time I was here I got the big apple one which was the Fiordalatte soft serve served with like ginger cake, apple compote and it was just so delicious but this time I got the s'mores one so you can see it's bits of brownie, biscuit crumb, this time it's a Fiordalatte and chocolate soft serve swirl, marshmallow which is torched and then it's finished up with more chocolate sauce and cocoa nibs. It looks so delicious so creamy and I remember last time that ice cream base was so so good mm. that is incredible I do think and I thought this last time without a doubt that soft serve base is one of the best I've ever had you can tell the quality of it it's like Mr. Whippy on steroids, it's so creamy. Go for a bit of marshmallow. That is just perfection. That is so good. I 
like how they layer up the toppings, well, toppings and on the bottom as well. So when you go down, you're not just left with the kind of emptiness, there's brownie bits and biscuit bits in there too. Try a bit of brownie. Really, really fudgy and gooey. Loads of texture that you dig down in as well. And you get to more of a biscuit at the bottom. Loads of crunch. Biscuit pieces. That was probably one of the tastiest ice creams I think I've ever had. I don't know whether I preferred that one or the apple one that I had last time, but the quality of the base is just so good that the flavours are just absolutely phenomenal. Would definitely, definitely recommend if you're an ice cream fan and are in Newcastle. Walking up from the quayside to the city centre now, up to where the monument is, and again there is, I think, a Christmas market going on. There's normally kind of German Christmas market on up here. I'm gonna go check it out, and then probably hit up another cool food place. <laughs> go to hip to eat square which is a Detroit pizza place um, just near monument in Newcastle city centre I hadn't had Detroit pizza at all until earlier this year I never thought I was the biggest fan of kind of deeper dish pizzas Wow I changed my mind after trying my first one the base was incredible almost like a focaccia like so light and fluffy not dense at all and it quickly skyrocketed its way to being my favorite type of pizza and um, they save them by the slice here which is really good if you don't want a huge big pizza I'm gonna go and grab a slice and enjoy it in this cold weather <laughs> Square. So this was the first Detroit pizza place um, that I tried that I referenced before. Came and tried their pep talk earlier this year which was pepperoni with burrata, hot honey. Without a doubt the best pizza that I think I have possibly ever had. Today I'm going to try a different one. It's not one that I would normally go for because I'm normally always red sauce based but I went for the Clancy Wiggum. So nice riff on the Simpsons. It's three cheese blend, Tennessee barbecue sauce, smashed burger patty, American cheese sauce, bacon A's, frazzles and streaky bacon. So it sounds epic and it looks epic. I can smell kind of that delicious barbecue bacon goodness coming off there and you can see the steam coming off it as well because it's such a cold day. gonna dig in and give it a go. The crust looks epic. Look at that. Wow. It's 
still got caramelised red onion jam on there as well, just giving it a lovely sweetness. nice kind of sweetness from the barbecue sauce, lovely smokiness from the bacon and the burger, the frazzles add a nice crunch and the dough is so light and fluffy on the inside but really nice and crisp on the exterior, it's just amazing, it's such good pizza. Let's go! Another really good place that I would recommend. They also operate on delivery, just eat Uber Eats as things as well. So if you don't want to um, come in and grab a slice in the city centre, I do think you could order on there. So good, delicious. Come down to Chillingham Road in Heaton to try out the next place, which is Dot Bagels. Um, I tried Dot Bagels for the first time properly last year and since then they've really gone from strength to strength. They've got so many stores open now. They've got one on Chillingham Road, they've got one in Jesmond, they've got a concession in Phoenix um, and then they've just opened one in Gosford as well. Um, bagels are great from them and they do a lot of really innovative different ones too so not just your traditional ones like smoked salmon and um, they've also got some really other exciting flavors on the menu there are loads of exciting new food places that have opened up on Chillingham Road now it's become um, quite a good place for lots of little startups to kind of open up their first place so there's a big barn back there which I tried um, a few kind of months ago and um, there's also Nest which is a kind of fine dining place um, yeah there's just loads of good places along here now so a great place to go and get some food <laughs> Poison duck, shredded carrot, spring onion, cucumber, and plum mayo. And I went for it on the everything bagel, which, as you can see, is super light and fluffy. The duck's lovely and warm and looks super tender, so I'm gonna give it a bite. Duck's lovely and coated in sauce, then the pickles in there add a nice contrast to it. The bagel is super light and fluffy and not too chewy. It's a bit of a messy one, but it's delicious. That bagel is just absolute perfection. I've tried quite a few from Dot Bagels. I've tried their Reuben, I've tried their banana bread one, I've tried their salt and chili road. I think the Reuben is probably my favourite, but this one's really good too. Down 
definitely something a bit different. If I was making a bagel at home, I can't say I would ever normally put junk in, but this is great. All finished up at Dot Bagels now. It was tasty, um, just what I needed for a nice snack. Um, probably not the favorite bagel I've ever had from there. It was still really good, but I think um, Reuben is still my number one. and bite which are a lovely little bakery and coffee place doing a whole range of delicious things and I wasn't planning on buying anything from here but when I walked past I saw they had amazing looking cruffins and this incredible looking thing which I've never seen anything like it before it's called a croc clair so it's a hybrid between a croissant and a clair so it's like croissant dough and then it's stuffed full with cream the lady in the shop told me it was salted caramel flavour it looks a bit like raspberry, but we're gonna dig in and see what it's like. It's jam packed full of cream. It doesn't seem salted caramel, it seems like chocolate and raspberry, I'm gonna say. I wonder if we pull it up. We're gonna see. Yeah, definitely chocolate and raspberry. I love the concept of it. It's really unusual. Really, really nice. And then next up, we've got the Cruffin, which is dull shade Alexi, which looks amazing. Finished with white chocolate. Just gonna go in and tear this. It's stuffed full of Dolce de Leche cream. That is great. It's got a lovely caramel flavour to it and it's jam packed full as well. Not too sweet. The pastry is super, super flaky and it's huge as well. That's, that's delicious. That's really, really good. Would um, highly recommend that. Um, it's pretty hefty as well lovely caramel flavour um, a nice impromptu stop of stuff that I wasn't planning on trying come down to the Usburn now to check out a bakery called Northern Rye so they had um, a kind of place that they operated out in a bit of an industrial estate a while ago but they've now got kind of a proper little store um, just in kind of the middle of sort of some flats and things in the Oosburn. I've tried some of their stuff before and it's great but they've got a trifle croissant cup on at the moment which I'm super excited about trying so I'm gonna go and grab one of those. raspberry trifle croissant cup so it's croissant dough and then I believe inside you've got custard jam or jelly and then on top as you can see loads of whipped cream and sprinkles so I think it's going to probably be quite messy to eat so I'm going to try and see if I can get a nice cut through um, to see all of those delicious layers I managed to get a gorgeous cut through of it you can see all the incredible layers of flaky pastry then what looks to be a raspberry compote on the bottom, thick and creamy custard and lashings of whipped cream. It's inspired, it looks delicious. I'm so excited to try it. Mm. That is great. I absolutely love trifle as a dessert. It's one of my favorites. Just the combination of everything always just so easy to eat, it works, it's indulgent, but it's got fruitiness, it's got the sponge, it's got the cream. So good, and this is amazing. It's 
got a lovely zing to the raspberry. The custard is thick and creamy with lovely vanilla notes. And their pastries, as always, are delicious. Nice, crispy croissant dough, fluffy on the inside. Cream adds a lovely dairy richness to it. This is just incredible. Finished up down here at Northern Rye in the Oosburn now. Great bakery in Newcastle. Um, I really wanted to go to Proven whilst I was up as well, but unfortunately they're closed. But very different. Northern Rye is much more kind of like croissants, things like that. And obviously Proven is very much more the donut end of things. But if I was to go with for just general all round bakery, Northern Rye would probably be my top recommendation. I think their stuff is great. Always lots of unusual things on the counter and would highly recommend this trifle croissant cut perfection. So that wraps up the video of delicious Newcastle Eats. Had everything from bagels to pastries to soft serve ice cream. There's lots going on in Newcastle now from a food perspective and every time I come up there's something more happening here so really exciting time. Hopefully you liked the video and if you liked it give it a like and subscribe to the channel for the next one.